Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Hebrews chapter 7 verse 6, Acts chapter 7 verse 3, and Romans chapter 2 verse 19. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for helping us to be rooted and grounded in your word. Lord Jesus, forgive us for our sins. Help us to stay in alignment with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 6. But this man who does not have his descent from them received tithes from Abraham and blessed him who had the promises. All right. And so this is speaking of um, Melchizedek. And he, remember, he received tithes from Abraham after Abraham went to war with the um, five kings. And so I think it was like five kings. Yeah, five kings. And he gave him the tithe um, to Melchizedek um, as he was on his way back. Um, he met him. And so, um, of course, Melchizedek blessed Abraham, right? And so that's something that we always look at because um, Melchizedek is a high priest forever, right? And only the the greater blesses the lesser. And so um, Melchizedek was in a different order than the Levitical priesthood, right? Why was he a high priest forever? Well, because he was immortal, right? And this is not something that we just understand with our natural mind. This is something we have to have faith in. Melchizedek was an immortal figure in the Bible. And Christ um, is is. Uh, of his likeness of his um of his kind right uh, Christ is God and man right and so um in that same way Christ is a high priest forever and so um are the priests that we um encounter on this earth are limited in their um ability and scope on this earth why because they die Right. So their their high priestly office um, ends at a certain point because they end up dying. And so Christ is a guarantor or a mediator of a, a better promises, a better covenant. And we are the subjects of that. Right. And so um, when you look at Melchizedek, you look at the justification and you look at the precedent set for Christ in his role. All right. And so except Christ actually died for our sins as a perfect lamb sacrifice on top of being a high priest forever. Right. And so he's the mediator of that new covenant for us. All right. And Melchizedek did not do that. Christ did that. And so um, the second scripture that the Lord gave me was Acts chapter seven, verse three, and said to him, go out from your land and from your kindred and go into the land that I will show you. All right. And so Abraham had to have faith to pay tithes to uh, Melchizedek, right? First of all, like what was tithe, right? I mean, this was the the first precedent that really is mentioned in the Bible. Um, we know of um, Cain and Abel um, and their paying, uh, giving offerings to God, right? And, and we know of other little circumstances, but tithes, I want to say this is the first mention of tithes in the Bible. And so, or giving the 10th portion to God. And so Abraham was setting a precedence here, right? In, in, in acknowledging that there was someone greater, acknowledging um, of the need and the desire to give to God what belongs to him. And so um, the second scripture that the Lord gave me was Acts 7-3. And I'm going to read it again and said to him, go out from your land and from your kindred and go into the land that I will show you.
All right. And so this is the lordship of God over Abraham. Right. So not only is he did he end up paying tithes to God, but he allowed leading and lordship. Right. Um, even though he was a, a good man, a humble man, a, a, a very wise man. Um, he submitted himself to the lordship of God, right? Of God's greater, of God's superior um, ability to understand and know what is the right thing to do. And so it says, and, and said to him, go out from your land. Remember, he was in Ur of the Chaldeans. He was in Babylon. And so it says, go out from your land and from your kindred and go into the land that I will show you. So God had something in store for Abraham, but Abraham had to put down the life that he had once lived. Abraham had to put his trust in his hope in God. Abraham had to um, um, know that it was it was more important to listen to an all wise, all knowing God than to stay where you are and be comfortable, right? And so um, Abraham had faith in God and Abraham, you know, blessed God with his tithe and his offering. And he also um, acknowledged the superior nature of God. Why? Because as he paid tithes to God, as he submitted in that way, um, Melchizedek blessed him and only the greater can bless the lesser. So he is, is submitting to that greater all right. And so um, the third scripture that the Lord gave me was Romans chapter two, verse nine. And if you are sure that you yourself are a guide to the blind, a light to those who are in darkness. And so um, the thing I felt like Holy Spirit was showing me about this is um, this in its context is speaking about um self-righteousness right um and and being justified by yourself right and I felt like he was saying lordship right so if Abraham such a wise man could submit to the lordship of Christ of God um how much more can we submit ourselves to the lordship of God right um he should be the one leading us he should be the one guiding us we cannot guide the blind right unless we have a guide we must submit ourselves to the greater we must um acknowledge the the light that is is being shined on us and not coming from ourselves is being reflected through us but it is coming from the giver of all good and perfect gifts right the father of light and so we have to realize that you know lordship involves us turning self off right turning turning our desires off turning our mindset off and putting our mind on the most high god knowing that he is the one who is actually um leading us and guiding us and putting our trust in him and not just saying that we're doing that but following our own voice right we have to follow the voice of god amen all right you guys let's pray Thank you, Father God, for all the beautiful promises that you have blessed over us. Lord God, help us to walk forward in the things that are of you. Help us to be people who are willing to come out of the land that we're in in order to follow after you, Lord Jesus. Help us to have our hearts mended help us to be sealed help us to come under lordship help us to look in the mirror and not just know that it is a mirror but look in the mirror ourselves so that we can reflect your love oh lord in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen all right you guys um if you all blessed. You all take care and have a blessed day.